Brightlingsource.com here, and we're looking at an Oris TT1 regulator here. Um, the Oris watches, uh, in general, in my opinion at least, offer a lot of value for the money. Um, unlike a lot of the watches, watch brands out there, such as um, you know Hamilton and and, and uh, whatever other watch brands out there seem to offer good value for their watches, they don't do a lot of uh, modification to the movements like uh, for example with like uh, Hamilton X-Wind and stuff like that that I've reviewed in the past and, and, and I felt also a good value they just basically drop in a straight up value 7750 and uh, that's the watch um, a lot of the time with Oris you'll find that they do um, a fair bit of modification um, one of the other Oris's I've reviewed is the Oris Artelier Complication which um, is a Swiss movement, uh, an ETA movement that's been modified with a moon phase complication and, uh, and a day of the week complication and, and so on and so forth, um, which is uh, a, a kind of, it's pretty impressive given the price point of the, the watch. Um, and here is another Oris watch that's, uh, it's also been modified by Oris in-house to uh, have more complications to it. And this one is the regulator, um, TT1 regulator in titanium. It's a 44 millimeter watch, and as you can see, this has the wave dial on it, which is really cool. You can see the wave patterning. Um, nice touch that Oris has done with uh, their TT divers, TT1 divers um, in the last few years when they updated them. Um, I think the TT1 divers are probably some of the better looking Oris models. They look kind of funny on the when when you initially look at them because they're um, sort of a bubble shape and uh, like a lot of the Oris stuff, and, and they don't really look that attractive. But in person, they're actually quite quite nice. Um, this uh, 44 millimeter one is perfect for my wrist size. Uh, I, I I really like the 44 millimeter size on me. Um, they do have larger 47 uh, millimeter model TD1 divers, um, and they they do have this model uh, in that larger size as well. Uh, doesn't have the red, I believe. Um, I've got on the rubber strap, Oris rubber strap here, which is a nice nice strap. Um, also has a titanium strap, uh, titanium bracelet with it, um, which is alternating polished and brushed. Um, it has two crowns. Uh, the first crown here is a, just a heel and release valve manual. Uh, and it's indicated by the red dot on it. And this here is the, uh, the regular winding crown, which is also locked in. It can be manually wound. And this, uh, this model is modified with the regulator complication. Um, it's uh, ETA. Uh, 2436 2 movement, um, which Oris has renamed the Oris 649 movement. And um, it's got the date complication, small seconds, and a separate regulator dial for the hours. So, as you can see here, the hour hand is there. It takes a little getting used to initially, but it's not too bad. Um, the first few times I did use it, I, f I was a little confused. I was like, where's the hour hand? Kind of a situation, but uh, it's uh, gotten quite used to it now. What is that date? And it does hack, as you can see. Oh, let me pull it all the way. And um, quick set date, of course, as I showed you earlier. Screw in crown, good to a thousand meters, as you can see on there, or 3,281 feet. They're very precise with their conversion of meters to feet, unlike a lot of other companies, which will just round that to 3,300 feet. Um, and uh, this this model actually comes in an older version that doesn't have the uh, waves on the dial, and also. Um, has a uh, slightly different markers on it with a larger loom. Uh, I don't think that model is quite as nice looking, but uh, still quite nice. Um, we'll purchase this watch uh, used, and it's got a bit of wear marks, as you can see there. 
few little scratches on the bezel here and there, but otherwise in excellent shape. And there's the uh, titanium back, sapphire crystal, thousand meter water resistant, shock resistant, scratch proof, sapphire, etc., etc. Nice watch, the Oris. Um, I've actually grown quite fond of the the Oris TT1 divers, and I kind of want to grab another one, maybe one of the blue dial ones, or possibly a chronograph. The 47s are a little bit large, but uh, I might still consider picking up one of them. Good size, looks good. Very sporty looking watch. Nice on the rubber. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the review. The Oris TT1 regulator. Have a good one.